Detecting and Diagnosing Esophageal Cancer. Esophageal cancer is a serious form of cancer. It often causes no symptoms until it is advanced and hard to treat. Only one out of five people diagnosed survives more than four years. Esophageal cancer is more common among adults over 50. It is four times more common in men than women. The two main types of esophageal cancer are esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, or ESCC, and esophageal adenocarcinoma, or EAC, which is the most common type found in Western societies. Esophageal adenocarcinoma begins with a condition known as Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's causes no symptoms but may cause the pain of heartburn to stop. Barrett's develops when stomach fluids repeatedly splash into the esophagus and its lining adapts to the reflux by functioning more like the lining of the stomach. Once detected, Barrett's esophagus can be treated and eliminated preventing the start of esophageal adenocarcinoma. Because Barrett's esophagus is silent, it is important to watch for symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, including heartburn, a cough, hoarse voice, sore throat, or painful swallowing, feeling like there is a lump in your throat or food gets stuck, burping, nausea, regurgitation, and vomiting, chest pain, a choking sensation when you lie down, and tooth erosion. A test called an upper endoscopy is the best way to find Barrett's esophagus. A doctor places a thin, lighted tube with a tiny camera down your throat. This allows for a close look at your esophagus and the chance to take tissue samples. You will be sedated to keep you comfortable during the test. A variety of screening tests that do not require you to be sedated are becoming available. Most involve a capsule you can swallow that will gather small amounts of tissue or even take images. You will still need an endoscopy if the tests show signs of Barrett's esophagus or cancer. If your doctor finds Barrett's esophagus, he or she will prescribe testing and treatment based on the number of abnormal cells. If there are no abnormal cells, you need another endoscopy in two or three years. The diagnosis is non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus. If cells are not clearly abnormal, you need another endoscopy in three to six months. The diagnosis is indefinite for dysplasia. If a few cells are abnormal, you may need treatment plus another endoscopy in six to 12 months the diagnosis is low-grade dysplasia. If many cells are abnormal, high-grade dysplasia is present and the risk of cancer is high. You need treatment plus another endoscopy when your doctor recommends it. Finding and treating Barrett's esophagus can stop cancer before it starts. Early diagnosis of any type of esophageal cancer results in a better chance for survival. If your endoscopy does show esophageal cancer, you may have endoscopic ultrasound, CT and PET scans, advanced endoscopy, or even exploratory surgery to determine the cancer stage. Esophageal cancer has four stages. In stage one and two, the cancer is only in the esophagus, either on the surface or deeper in the tissues. In later stage two and stage three, the cancer has spread through the esophagus, reaching the body's infection-fighting system and invading nearby lymph nodes. The lymph glands help the body fight disease, but they are also connected by channels that allow cancer cells to travel around the body. In stage four esophageal cancer, the cancer has spread from the esophagus and nearby lymph nodes to other areas of the body. This is called metastatic or advanced cancer. In seven out of 10 people in the US, esophageal cancer is not found until it has spread outside the esophagus, either to the lymph nodes or beyond. If you are diagnosed with esophageal cancer before it has spread, 
you are at least eight times more likely to survive than someone whose cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Talk with your doctor about your risk for esophageal cancer or Barrett's esophagus.